Ivan and Ria, welcome back to Tinkung San Classroom. Today, we are very happy to invite Miss Fiona to our classroom. Hello, Fiona. Welcome to classroom again. Please say hello to everybody in the classroom. Thank you, Ria. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm Fiona from King Queenstown Customer Service Center. Okay, Fiona. Last time when you come to our classroom, we talk about two types of super talking show. How's the feedback? Yes, after that class, we got a lot of feedback and inquiry about the two top solution and the solution product case two talks. Ria, the classroom is very helpful to learn the knowledge of the crop science and find out the solutions. Please keep updating. Thanks for your compliment. We will work harder and provide more useful information and uh, solutions. Fiona, today we are going to talk about forest insect control. This is a new topic, and as I know, you have some experience on this field. Could you please share some information with us? Sure, Ria. Yeah. As we know, forest is a valuable asset in China and many other countries. Forest plant protection is a long-standing problem and an inevitable requirement for the country's sustainable development. In the forest, there are many kinds of insects such as pine beetles, scale insects, and various lepidoptera insects. Today, I'm going to uh, mainly talk about the lepidoptera insects in the forest. Same as in agriculture, the lepidoptera insects in the forest are mainly destructive to plants in the larvae stage. The larvae drill and lob plug the stems, roots, seeds, roots and fallen leaves of forest trees. Therefore, knowledge about their identification, biodiversity, biology, nature of damage, posture plants and control is essential to protect and preserve forest wealth. As far as I know, among these lepidoptera pests, pine caterpillars and inchworms are very dangerous pests. That's right. Lepidoptera insects are a major problem to the forest. Let's take pine caterpillars and inchworms are representatives. Fiona, have you seen the news about the pine caterpillars attack Turkey after the devastating earthquake? Yes, I know that. So terrible. Millions of pine caterpillars crawl all over the forest, crop fields, and the walls of the houses, and even the stones outside the houses. Everywhere. The pine trees are all dead and the crops are eaten up. Can't believe that such small insects can cause so big loss. Pine caterpillars are relatively small. They are only 3 to 4 centimeters in length and they tend to live in the wooded areas. They are usually orangey brown in color and covered it with thousands of small blisters. It is these blisters covering their body that are poisonous. Pine caterpillars feed on living pine needles, and if in large numbers, they can completely deflate trees. This weakens the trees, leaving them uh, vulnerable to other pests and diseases, even costly deaths. Pine caterpillars are also a, a potential health hazard, hazard because uh, their small blisters contain a protein that causes irritation to humans and uh, animals. So we are we should uh, avoid the contact with pine caterpillars, especially children. I got my finger pricked by the uh, caterpillars. It hurts so so much. Oh, thanks for your reminder. For this kind of insects with poisonous bristles, it's better not to touch directly. Okay, let me introduce the second insect, inchworms. Inchworms are caterpillars of geometer months. Unlike pine caterpillars, they have small hairless bodies, usually about 2.5 cm long. They are green, brown, or black. And in many species, they have irregular projections that makes them look like the branches of the tree they eat. Each worms are voracious leaf eaters. They feed on plants, foliage, day and night, often found in large groups. They will also feed alone. New leaves, leaf buds, flower buds, fruits, and berries may be all be their targets. Damage ranges from the large holes to the nearly total deflation. 
sweeping plants are then vulnerable to other pests and diseases. Affected edible plants may fall to produce harvest. Thanks, Ria. So, how to control lepidopteral insects in the forest? Could you please introduce more information? Okay, the forest is an ecosystem. It's essential for maintaining an ecological balance. Under normal conditions, the insects will be controlled by the natural enemies. But if insect infestation is high, we need to take action to protect the forest. To protect the forest ecosystem, we suggest choosing the biological products instead of the chemical products. In this way, while preventing and controlling the target pest pollution to be the forest can be avoided, and the impact on other organisms can be minimized. Bacillus thuringiensis is the most widely used by insecticide in the world with the longest development time, the longest output and the most successful application. It has been widely used in many important species of the Lepidoptera insects in forest. King's BT is an excellent bioinsecticide of King Consum, containing Bacillus thuringiensis. It can produce in both liquid and solid formulation. You can widely recommend this product to your customer. Thanks, Ria. All right, then, this is all for today. Hope this video can help you have a new understanding of forestry lepidopteral insect control. If you like it, please subscribe to our channel. And if, if you have any more questions regarding the forestry lepidopteral insect control, please leave us a message down here below in the comment zone. And King Queen Song will try to provide you with more information regarding to the pesticide industry and the pest control. King Queen Song. Focus on your harvest.